I'll be having very interesting guests who have personal stories to tell to the world. Welcome to MNB World Talk Show. Hello guys, welcome to MNB World Talk Show's brand new episode. My name is Bilgute Tumundemult, you guys call me Beck. Well, today's guest is a very special and beautiful guest. She's a mathematician, she studies accounting, but at the same time, she's a national winner of Miss World Mongolia 2018. Well, let's welcome Miss Ingrima Irtenbatr. of Miss World Mongolia 2018, Ingrima Irtenbater in the studio. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for inviting. <laughs> well, let's just start talking about your childhood. Your parents mm -hmm. are from the uh, uh, construction business. Yes. Even your grandmother yeah. was in the construction business yes. in Mongolia, right? So uh, tell us about your childhood memories. What did your parents... What do your parents expect as they uh, raise you? Okay, as a construction business people, mm -hmm. for the main thing for them was planning mm -hmm. and then living by rules. Mm -hmm. So since I was a child, I mm -hmm. really loved to live by rules. Mm -hmm. It was so hard that once mm -hmm. when I came home too late, when I was a little, mm -hmm. I played too long in the garden. Uh -huh. So when I came, I didn't came out of my home for three days. So, yes. uh, so you were prohibited to go out? No, you were late? I prohibited for myself because, yes. Really? Yes. How, how come? Because you got late, you came home late, yes. you prohibited yourself yes. not to go out for three days? Yes. <laughs> wow, you that's, see, that's it was really hard. maybe way too much self-discipline? Might be, but okay. this, is, this was the main thing that my parents were teaching me. When I say childhood, what kind of words come to your mind? Flowers, okay. parents, grandmother, mm -hmm. Erdenet. This mm -hmm. is the city where I was born. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you mentioned flowers. Do you grow flowers? Do you plant? No, we flowers? don't. But the place we were living was full of flowers. Really? Yes. Yeah, we had a flower on the balcony mm -hmm. and I used to water them every day. So oh, wow. Yeah. That's, that's quite good. Okay. And you have uh, so much math mathematics background. Mm -hmm. You've won uh, so many Olympiads, even international Olympiads in mm -hmm. mathematics. With my team, yes. Mm -hmm. And why math? I don't know why, but I'm so passionate about mathematics. Numbers? <laughs> Numbers <laughs> really? Yes. I don't know why, but it's like... It's like a fairy tale for me. It's like a dream coming true when I'm doing mathematics. It's like so fa I feel so fantastic. Where did it start? I when did know. it start? It started right from the start. I mean, from the first grade. Yes. First grade? Yes, I really love math. You fell in love with numbers. Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to do that letters. The only thing that I was doing, I was writing numbers. <laughs> yes. Really? Talking to each other about maths. Yes. Mm -hmm. So okay, when you when you are uh, uh, thinking the math, uh, doing math, math mm -hmm. works, and uh, when you come up with the solution, that gives you pleasure, right? Oh, that is the uh -huh. fantastic moment. Uh -huh. I, as I was telling, it's like a dream coming true. Uh -huh. It's like you're seeing the whole world. Everything is so colorful, and you're so happy for the whole day. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> So your performance at the Miss World 2018 mm -hmm. was one of the best 10 performances, yes. right, from all the competitors. Mm -hmm. What was the performance about? I know it was dance, I mm -hmm. saw it, but uh, what was the meaning? Okay, the meaning mm -hmm. is about a Mongolian culture, about how women can be strong. The name of that okay. dance was the Blue Sky. Blue Sky? 
Okay. Blue Sky Beauty. Blue Sky Beauty, wow. Дэлхийн бүжгийн төрөл дээр инхэр матага хамтарж ажилласан. За 1 минутын хугацаанд өөрийн гэсэн өрмөц утга санааг агуулсан Монгол үндэсний бүжгийг одоо үндэсний хувтас хөгж юм хөдөлгөөнтэй нийлүүлсэн ийм одоо бүтээлийг бид нэр хамтарч ажиллахдаа инхэр магийнхаа өөр их нь одоо өрмөц төрөх байдал түүний гүйцэтгэл дотоод мэдрэмжийн дээр тулгуурлан ажилласан. Энэ дундаа мөн гол анхаарсан зүйлний үг гэхээр үндэсний бүж маань нөгөө чээжин биеийн хөдөлгөө гар хөлийн одоо сарууны хаялга боёо цацлаг амун хөлийн одоо өрмөц алхаа гэшгээ суудал амун одоо түүнийг морин хуурын их шиг хөөминий аялгуудаа хослуулан тэгэлэхтэй Монгол одоо уламжлалт язгуур одоо сэтгүү буюу мөн хөх тэнгэр одоо газар ээж мөн одоо эмхтэй хүний дотоод гоо мэдрэмжийг одоо нүүрний одоо хэлбэр нүүрний төрхөн дээр илүүх одоо ойрхон одоо байлгаж одоо түүний гоо сайхныг харуулахыг хичээж ажилласан байгаа. And to my mind the hardest part of the dance was fitting into my clothes. Because you know, uh, when you're uh, dancing in a training clothes, you can do every move very clearly, but here this hat is almost two and a half kilos. So when you're dancing, you're carrying this hat. And then this clothes with this hat, it's almost five kilos. So you're carrying five more kilos on your weight. So yes, it was the hardest part. Pretty sure that it was one of the best performances. Not even ten, maybe five. <laughs> <laughs> Mongolian men, Mongolian thing is the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's who we are, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are a small, populated nation. Yes. So, yes. Well, you had never done this kind of things: beauty pageant competition, yeah. Miss competition in your life. What was the motivation to participate in? Uh, in Miss World Mongolia 2018. Okay, before mm -hmm. Miss Mongolia 2018, I was participating in a beauty pageant named uh, Beauty of Mongolia. Okay. Yes. Okay. That was my first pageant, mm -hmm. and that was a real big shock for me. Mm -hmm. And this w that was the my mom's idea. Your mom's idea. Yeah, okay. and I came out of the w well, I came out as a winner from there. Beauty Mongolia. Beauty of Mongolia, yes. So from there you uh, go. No, mm -hmm. and then that was the one pageant, and mm -hmm. then we got to the countryside with my parents, mm -hmm. and then there I saw nature. This nature was like split it in two. One part was living, another part was dead because of you know because of acid rains. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. It was actually it was a mountain and one side of this mountain was green mm -hmm. and there was animals, there were birds and then the other side, I'm telling the truth, it was black. Mm -hmm. yes. All the trees cut down. Yes, all the trees mm -hmm. cut down. It was totally black. There was no animal. Mm -hmm. So I thought I want to love nature. I want to protect. Mm? So about the mountain? Yes, that mountain, after seeing that mountain, I decided that I want to protect nature mm -hmm. because nature is our first mother. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was a winner of the Beauty of Mongolia pageant, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I wanted to spread this news 
for the whole world. <laughs> That's why I decided to participate in the Miss World Mongolia mm -hmm. 2018 pageant. Wow, so that's when the idea came up. Yes, that's mm -hmm. the when the idea came mm -hmm. up. That's the reason why I participated. Well, I, I want to go back. Mm -hmm. The moment you talked with your mother about you know, going into that competition. Mm -hmm. I mean, what did you think about it? I mean, I thought, oh my God, mom, you're getting crazy. Yeah, so that's what <laughs> I yes, want to Yes, because uh, I, was, I was studying an accountant. I yes. have never thought about fashion things or mm -hmm. even participating in the pageant. Oh, yes? Yes, mm -hmm. but my mom said that it's a good idea and mm -hmm. I can make a lot of things by... I, the main thing was I could learn a lot of things from that pageant. Uh -huh. Only participating in the pageant, I could mm -hmm. learn a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I... So with one shot, you get to learn so many things. Yes. In a very short amount of time, right? For a month, yes. For a month? <laughs> yeah. Even? <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, you participated, again, after that, you participated in Miss World Two. Mongolia 2018. Mm -hmm. What was the most challenging aspect during the competition? Most was it the competition? Was it like me? What was the hardest thing? Uh, as I told you before, mm -hmm. from my childhood, I was a girl who was living by rules. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to open myself. I was not open to almost no one, like only my friends and parents and that's all. Mm -hmm. So when I was participating in the mm, pageant Miss World 2018, the hardest thing was opening myself. Challenging to myself. To others. To others, yes. Mm -hmm. Because there, I was introducing my project to and the project that I will do, now mm -hmm. what I am now doing. So yeah, opening myself was the hardest thing. So you're, are you a kind of introvert? Yes, kind introvert? of. Introvert? Are you sometimes, an introvert sometimes? Sometimes, sometimes not. It depends uh. with who I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you crazy? Yes, with my with friends. Your, with your friends? Yes. What would Miss Inkhima want from a Miss of the world? Okay, mm. you know the beauty with as 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 an audience. Do you yes. know what I mean? I mean, yes. Okay, I let's know. say uh, there's there's your idol Miss World, and what would you, uh, whom do you want her to be? The main thing that I loved in the Miss World was beauty with a purpose. Mm -hmm. The girls would have to be a full of empathy. So the main thing that I will want that I will require from the Miss World mm -hmm. is empathy. Okay. She must be full of empathy. She must be able to place herself in the place of the others mm -hmm. and understand their pains. Because she will do a lot of humanitarian activity. And our winner was a girl who was full of empathy. So oh yeah? congratulate her. Yes, <laughs> she's a mm -hmm. she one who deserves that. Your most favorite part of the Competition Miss World 2018. The you. main thing in the Miss World 2018 is beauty with a purpose. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one si some amount of beauty with a purpose foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, those two 118 girls. It's like there is a 118 girls. They are bringing their own presence for Miss World from their country. Okay. And then by uh, there's an auction and then by mm -hmm. uh, mm, selling them mm -hmm. in the auction, mm -hmm. we raise the foundation for the future Miss World. Okay. Yes, one what did you bring? What did you okay, bring? I brought mm -hmm. a golden Gergay. Yes. Okay. It's like I told them that Gergay is a Mongolian innovation mm -hmm. and is the first known passport. And yeah. our gerge was made of gold and silver, and it standed on the jade stone. I was so proud of my present. <laughs> yes. Wow. I'm holding this beautiful book, mm -hmm. like a shastra. <laughs> it says, <laughs> So the wisdom of queen mothers. Yes. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's this book about? And I, I can see oh. your beautiful picture in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> OK. So Tell, t tell me about this mm -hmm. Shastra. Do you remember that I was telling that I want to protect nature? Mm -hmm. I want to protect nature, but I need to a moving word. So, mm -hmm. in Mongolia, usually in our country, mothers are more close to their children. Yes. So, 
as I know, problems are always solved in the future. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to mm -hmm. influence mothers. Okay. Because if the child is raised in the right way, raised telling that nature is the best one, nature is mm -hmm. our first mother, that mm -hmm. we must love nature, and when she's going with the child in the nature, then this child will never do something harm harmful to the nature or mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. So this is my point of view of saluting problems in the world. Uh -huh. So that came out of the word, the idea, this bet best mom's better world. So mm -hmm. by influencing mothers, mm -hmm. and they will raise a future best society, and mm -hmm. they will solve a lot of problems. <laughs> yes. That's really good. This is That's the first good. project of this idea. Mm -hmm. Best Moms, Better World. Here is 100 sayings of mothers. 100 Queen sayings mothers. of mothers. Yes. So is it gonna, uh, there's, uh, are there going to be next, next ones? Yes. Mm -hmm. The next one will be 1,000 mothers saying. Uh huh. So okay, there are not just wisdom words. These yeah. are kind of letters. Letters to the humanity. Yes. Mm. About some, some about how to raise their children. How to raise some their children. About mm -hmm. How to live or. Wow, this is beautiful. Actually, really, is yeah. it? Has it been translated into English? It will be translated. It will be translated soon. Please do. I Please do yes. translate it and spread the word do. throughout the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also one of uh, one of your project was on tuberculosis. Tell me about that project. Okay. Tuberculosis. Why tuberculosis? Why who chose this area? This humanitarian work. After winning in Miss World Mongolia, mm -hmm. I knew that I must do project on the Miss Bit with a purpose. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of research. Mm -hmm. The research that the most touched me was tuberculosis research. Okay. Can you imagine one out of three people is a carrier of tuberculosis virus? One of the three? Yes. I might have it. <laughs> I might be. Okay. So it's like, and then 10 of those various virus keepers, mm -hmm. one of them yielding by tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine in Mongolia, it's like three million people. Mm -hmm. One million of them are already carriers mm -hmm. of tuberculosis virus. Mm -hmm. And then wow. 1,000 of them, mm -hmm. 1,000, 100,000 will like mm -hmm. have to be. Through our talk show, we will bring you entertaining personal talks with certain individuals. These individuals will be divided in two categories. Number one is I am Mongolian. In this category, guests will be proud Mongolians who have stories to tell to the world. Number two is I love Mongolia. Through these talks, we will introduce expats and non-Mongolians who are related to Mongolia one way or another. Heartfelt stories of their love affair with Mongolia, the land of blue sky. The Foundation was found last year in October and now it's already have done three main jobs. First one was a drawing contest in, in my country and we have winners as a first place, second place and four, fourth places, third places. So, mm, you know, why I made a drawing contest is that when children draw something by their imagination, they understand more about the disease, the tuberculosis disease. And they're telling everything what they learned in school to their parents. And it's like there was 600,000 children who was in the drawing contest. And then they all, all draw a drawing on tuberculosis and they tell everything to their parents. So it's like not only one family, there are a lot of families in Mongolia who now know about tuberculosis disease, how to protect yourself from tuberculosis. And it's like the main job of raising awareness. The second job was tuberculosis patients. It's really hard to be a tuberculosis patient because 
The treatment is two years long and while this treatment you have to go through a lot of pain and one of those pain is liver. I mean their liver, they really have to have liver protecting medicine otherwise they won't be able not only to live as before, they will have to do more treatment for their liver. So I gave 2,500 2, vitamins, liver protecting vitamins. So the thir third job was public awareness video. In this video, we wanted to raise awareness of tuberculosis and then we all were saying about how to protect yourself from tuberculosis, what to do to not ill by tuberculosis, and that, tubercul that we can treat tuberculosis so you don't have to bully the one who's ill by tuberculosis. What's your plan? Next step on tuberculosis. It will be a secret. You will know. I promise. Okay, please let me know. <laughs> okay. We will be here to cover the mm -hmm. cover the event, mm -hmm. right? So you are doing these humanitarian work. You say you want to protect Earth and uh, you're trying to help people. What do you get out of it? I mean, I know your family does humanitarian work. <laughs> yes. We found that out actually okay <laughs> I was thinking so what's what's all this about what do you get from these humanitarian works uh, I'm a humankind mm -hmm. the best thing about humankind as I know is that loving each other mm -hmm. and I know do you know or do you feel it what do you knowing is in the brain right the feeling it is in the heart by me yes. I want to know that what you get from helping people what, I get. what do you get from helping people? I get their smiles. You I get, get their smiles? bright future. Mm -hmm. I can see that they're raising, that I can help them. Mm -hmm. And they're getting better. And then mm -hmm. do they're raising, they're doing something too, you know? It's like it's like treatment for a whole society. Mm -hmm. Yes. When mm -hmm. someone gets something good. Mm -hmm. When someone is helping me or my family, mm -hmm. I'm so happy, and I want to do a lot, a good, a lot of good things mm -hmm. for others. Yes. Mm. When I do the humanitarian activity, I know mm -hmm. that that person will do something more than me. That that person will do mm -hmm. a lot of good things. When you help someone, and that yes. person will help others. Yes. Like that. It's very good. It's like aspect. a chain, yes. <laughs> yes, chain reaction, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. You like to read book. Let's talk about book. Okay. Yes. Do uh -huh. you love reading book? I love reading book. I love these fantasy stories. I love the scientific things. I love those ecology. Well, you're in love. Games. You're in love with life, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> you said you're in love with numbers. <laughs> you now you <laughs> you're in love with science and books. Mm. Okay, let's uh, let's stick on books this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What was the last book, the, no, the best book you read? The la last, last book you read. Okay, I'm which sorry. You, which you really liked. I'm sorry, but it was Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, what's it was wrong Harry with Harry Potter. Potter? Yes. What do you like about Harry Potter? Because it's an imaginary world where you can do everything. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, let's put uh, Harry Potter on the side. Mm -hmm. well, what's the book you are reading now, and what's it about? Okay, the book that I'm reading now is mm. Say Yes. Okay. It's a Fiona Walker's book. Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. and then it is about a girl, mm -hmm. about a woman mm -hmm. who's passionate about, passionate about horses. Horses? Yes, horses. Uh -huh. yes. Do you like horses? <gasps> yes, I like. No, you, you're in love with everything. <laughs> <laughs> you love no, horses. I'm okay. interested in life, you see. I'm interested in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's good. Good attitude, <laughs> like uh, like Einstein. Einstein is interested in questions, mm. not knowledge. Yes, I I remember if I'm not mistaken. Questioning is the best thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a one question, a really weird question. 
okay, in mm-hmm. society. When it uh, comes to Miss World, beauty pageant, most of the girls, well, society thinks, okay, oh, okay, these girls participating in beauty pageant, being uh, being in fashion, modeling, mm-hmm. they end up marrying one rich guy and then they disappear and then the new one comes. Uh, <laughs> what do you think about this view and how can this aspect be aspect of the society be changed i mean i mean we're being honest there is that you know mm-hmm. best mom's better world that would be uh, my answer uh, yes <laughs> again you're promoting this yeah, book no, uh, <laughs> no, no, no i'm telling so. the truth mothers can change a lot of things yes mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so we have to look up to our mothers yes to work with our mothers yes mm-hmm. as a society yeah i'm going to work with mothers <laughs> that's good that's good yeah. that's your responsibility mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well uh, you're a woman and how do you see your future okay. first of all now i'm going to graduate a ba- my bachelor i'm going to take my bachelor so okay. that's why i'm going to graduate my university mm-hmm. and then i will work okay but my work. biggest dream and my biggest goal is as I told before, having a family. Having a family, that's your biggest being dream. A good, yes, being a good wife, being mm-hmm. a good mother. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm searching for. This is okay. what I want. Well, I'm sure you're going to be a, a great mother, a great wife. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And great <laughs> uh, humanitarian as well. Mm. As a career, what are you planning? Is there a plan for a career? I'm an accountant and I have an inheritance foundation. Okay. So. As an accountant, I mm-hmm. think I will work on my Ukrainian foundation. But I think my I might work as an auditor too. Auditor? Yes. <laughs> You're so into this economy, finance, yes. accounting. For me, when I see numbers, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be good though, but uh, this is not about me. Anyways, <laughs> uh, my last question. Uh, this is a regular question of uh, our talk show. Mm-hmm. Are you a proud Mongolian? How oh, I can't be proud of my country. Okay, so proud and pride yes. lies in many different ways. Mm-hmm. Right. Where does your Mongolian pride lie? My Mongolian pride lies in my family. In your family? Yes. Family it is? Yes. So in Khrima's Mongolian pride lies in family. family. In my Mongolian family. <laughs> in Mongolian family. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. And yes, uh, thank it was you for <laughs> the beautiful talk. Yes. And uh, I wish you good luck, good health, oh, and good family in the future. Oh, this is the best thing that you could <laughs> wish me. <laughs> good family, right? Yes. It is. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, that's all for today. We will see you with our next episode and uh, today's episode was all about the Mo- Miss Mongolia 2018 national winner Ingrima Irtenbatr. Bye-bye.